Yo, welcome to my very first Let's Play. Um, apologies if I'm not very good. Um, I'm very new to this. Um, I'm going to be playing XCOM Terror from the Deep. A uh, bit of an underrated sequel to XCOM, I think, because, uh, you know, people say it was too much like the original. Um, I think, you know, there was enough differences to to really set it apart from the sequel. It's also a lot harder. Um, so... I'm going to make it as hard as possible by playing on superhuman mode to give us a real challenge. I'm going to be playing Iron Man, so if anyone dies or we fail the mission, then we'll just keep playing and go as far as we can without cheating. So I'll set up my new base. Uh, let's do it locally. Let's go in Europe. I'm going to call this Space One. Not very imaginative, but at least I know what's what. Okay, so um, people don't like the starting base layout. But I tend not to mess with it. I don't like um, dismantling stuff and wasting money. So I'll just keep it as it is and just build on top of what we've got. Build facilities. Let's get all this boring stuff out of the way. Living quarters. Uh, water ice, sonar, alien containment and general stores. Okay. Let's equip our submarine. Triton 1. Let's get rid of all the crap on here. The dark guns. They are useless. Jet harpoons aren't much better. Gas cannons are very good. Definitely want those. Torpedo launch is actually quite useful. Okay. And while we're here, I'll put a decent weapon on this sub. And wait for that one to rearm before we equip the other one. Okay, so let's get rid of some of the crap. We don't want the gaff craft gas cannons. We don't want the rounds. We certainly don't want the dark guns. Jesus, they're so useless. Don't want any extra jet harpoons. We don't want the hydrojet cannon. Okay, so we've cleared some space. Let's buy something. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay, we want as many scientists as possible. Very important. Um, I'm going to buy a tank. Tanks are fun. They're also um, very useful if you use them correctly. They do take a few hits, whereas your Aconauts, to begin with, don't take any hits without dying. So they do. Uh, although they're expensive, they, if used in the right way, they can actually help you quite a lot. Um, so we've bought a tank. Um, the gas cannon is definitely the best version because you can use that one on dry land as well. Um, we're going to buy some gas cannons which are the best weapons in the game, bar none, uh, to begin with of course. Um, obviously once your research is completed you'll get some better weapons. So the high explosive bolts are very very nice. Hopefully we'll have something better to use after some research. Torpedo launcher, we'll go for some large torpedoes on those, those are always very nice. Particle disturbance grenades are very useful, depending on your playstyle. Um, thermal tasers, essential for terror missions. Chemical flares, essential for night missions. I think we're done. I don't think I've missed anything. We've spent most of our money, but I think we're all set and we're ready to... Uh, no, we're not. Let's rename our Aquanauts. Um, I tend to keep the first name um, and give these people um, names which include their stats, which is uh, mentioned by various strategy guides on the internet. Um, it's actually very useful because you can see at a glance what weapon to give them. So if I put his firing accuracy followed by his strength for every single Aquanaut. then I don't have to keep checking the stats every time and I decide which weapon to give them. 64, 34, very nice stats. Uma, 55, 35. Krug, what a great name. 68, 22. No, I didn't mean to click that. Gerard, 58, 20, what a weakling. Mallory, 24 Boris great throwing out see Boris
research is obviously the most important part of the game. Um, we'll start with Gauss technology. If we get an early sonic weapon we'll switch, if not we'll stay on Gauss. And we're ready. Let's go. Very small. Okay. Which craft did I equip with the good weapon? Because I don't want to send that one. I don't want to send... I want to send Barracuda 2. So it doesn't destroy it. Very small. The smallest sub in the game which means it's only going to carry one alien and if we can down it it might give us an early sonic weapon great obviously I'm going to wait until day comes because night missions are just too difficult on superhuman unless they're absolutely necessary I won't go to a night mission let's send the triton and let's begin our first mission Ha ha! 27 strength. Probably not quite enough to hold all this stuff, so I'll give him a slighter, slight smaller weapon. Uh, da -da -da, Charlie, strong woman. She can hold the torpedo launcher. And let's give her a better weapon. Strong women. Okay, so. We have one alien to find. We're uh, near the edge of the map. No, we're not. We're somewhere in the middle. There's the edge. Open the door. Can't see anything. And we're going to play very carefully, so we're going to end the turn. We saw some movement there, so... There's probably something very close. I'm not going to expose my aquanauts to unnecessary danger at the start. There we go. Hmm. I've got a choice. Do I use the, the torpedo launcher and blow into smithereens, or do I use... Hmm, I think I don't have a choice here. I'm going to have to go for the aim shot. Here we go. Yay! Mission successful, and we didn't even have to move out. Excellent. Very good for our first mission. What has that given us? Has that given us a sonic weapon? Sonic pistol. Yeah. The problem is with sonic pistols is they're not as common as sonic rifles. Which means that getting ammunition and supplies for them later on is uh, difficult. But I think we're going to research that one because it's so early and it's such a nice weapon. We've also got sonic pulses as well. Sell that quartz, we don't need that. Okay, so let's stop researching Gorse technology and begin with a sonic pistol. Haha! -ha. I'm going to start the video now. This is my very first Let's Play. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please leave any constructive feedback on the comments. Um, and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.